Hello and welcome to the tutorial on ordering numbers and in this tutorial we're going to do numbers up to 20 and we are not going to use the number line so let's have a look at our first question suppose you have these three numbers we've got 14 19 and 11 14, 19, and 11. And the question states that you've got to put these three numbers in order. Let's just draw the three boxes. You have to put them in order starting with the smallest first. So let's just write down smallest here. In fact, we can just put an arrow across and just say smallest to largest. So how would we work this out? Now one method is that you can start from zero and count upwards and keep counting until you hit each of these numbers and you can write them down. Now you can do this with numbers up to 20, but what if the numbers are larger? Then it becomes a little bit more difficult. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the tens and units and the counting method. So let's have a look at the three numbers we have over here. Now let's uh, have a look at each, each of them and look at the tens and the units. What do you notice about the tens? Let's just write them down. There's one ten there, there's 14. For number 19, the 10 is on the left. For each of them, the 10 is on the left. Now one thing you've got to notice is that they've all got one, one, one. So all the tens are the same. Now if the tens are the same, we cannot work out which is the smallest and which is the largest just by looking at the tens. We then have to move to the units, which is the second digit. And what units do we have now? We've got 4, we've got 9, and 1. So we've taken the 4 from there, we've taken the 9 from there, and we've taken the 1. We haven't added the tens because the tens are all the same. So the numbers we are now comparing is 4, 9, and 1. So now we can use the counting method. If you haven't figured it out, you can use the counting method and work through this. So let's start with 0. In fact, let's write it down here. You don't need to write this down, but I'm doing this just for illustration. So we start with 0, we're going to count upwards until we hit each of these numbers. After 0 is 1. Well, there is 1. That is our first number. That is the smallest number. So we write down here, we're not going to write down 1, because we're going to write down the original number, which is 11. In fact, we can even put all the tens on here. Those are all the tens. Okay, because they're all going to remain the same. So after 1, we're going to carry on. We've got 2, 3, 4. We stop at 4 because 4 is over here. That is our next number. It's 14. Let's, let's keep on counting. 5. We know what the last box is, but let's just do this. 9. There is our last one. And there you have it. That is how we order the numbers from the smallest to the largest just by breaking down the numbers into tens and units and then working through, i.e. counting upwards to find out which is the smallest and which is the largest. Let's work through one more where we are going to find the largest and then work our way back to the smallest. Now let's suppose we have these three numbers. We've got 16, 18, and 13. So we've now got these three numbers. First, let's just put our boxes in. One, we're doing three numbers, so we're going to draw three boxes. Okay, and we're going to do... The question is going to be that you have to write the numbers in order, starting with the largest to the 
smallest. So largest to the smallest. So there we have it. Now we're going to have a look at the numbers. Now what you see about these numbers. Firstly, let's switch across to purple and let's write down the first digit on the left. All of these happens to be a 10. They are tens. And what do you notice about them? There's one here, one here, and one here. So all three are exactly the same. And as we said in question one, if they are exactly the same, we can disregard those and we move across to the units. Because just by knowing the tens, we cannot figure out which is the largest and which is the smallest. And because the tens is the same, we're going to write down here six. We're going to drop the 10 here from 18, so we write down eight. And we drop the 10 from 13, and that becomes three. Great. So now we have made each of these numbers into small manageable numbers. Now the question states we have to write these from the largest to the smallest. Now what we can do is we can count from 10 backwards or we can just count from 0 upwards and write the number, the smallest number up here. But let's do it the correct way. So we're going to start from 10. Let's write this down. We're going to start from 10. Now count backwards. The number before 10 is 9, 8. Can you see 8 anywhere? There it is, 8. Now again, as we forgot to do in the first one, we're going to put all the 1s in. Okay? These are all the 10s, because the 10s are all the same. The same in the first example. So we've added on all the 10s into the boxes. We just have to add the units. The first unit that appears is 8. So we write this down. 18 is the largest number in this sequence. So we're, eight, we're at 8. Let's keep counting backwards. 7, 6. Oops, before we go on to... Let me just erase that because we, we move too fast. We've got 6, and 6 is over here. And that becomes our next largest number, 6. And the last number left is 3. So we can just write that down, 3. So we have reordered the numbers in the sequence into the largest, into the, sorry, going from the largest to the smallest. We've got 18, 16, 13. That is how we reordered them. And that is the best way to order numbers up to 20. Break down the number first into tens and units. If you can work out which is the largest and the smallest just by looking at the tens, great. If you cannot, then you have to look at the units.